Proton Pass tutorial. How to use Proton Password. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be telling you how you can use Proton Pass. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So Proton Pass is one of the softwares of Proton. They have a bunch of softwares like Proton Mail. Proton Pass is a password manager, as the name suggests. And you can create a free account over here. It's free to use. There is a pricing plan, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. And also you can see right here underneath features, these are the features that they provide. So they have a monitoring system that, you know, keeps an eye on your personal information. It checks databases across the internet, even dark web to see whether or not there has been a breach of security. You can see aliases. He, it'll hide your emails with aliases over here so that, you know, your true identity and true emails stay hidden. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple and easy to use. You can see over here, Discover Proton, they've got a bunch of different options like Proton Mail. Proton Pass is the one that we're going to be covering over here. There's also Proton Wallet, Proton Drive, Proton Calendar, even a Proton VPN. So let's get into it. First things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create an account. It's pretty simple to do so. You just simply click on create a free account over here. You can even download the application on your computer on your desktop, on Chrome as an extension, even on your phones, whether it's Android or Apple, doesn't matter. It's available on every device possible. So all you got to do is just enter in your details like email address, password, and just simply click on sign up. Now, I believe I already have an account, but I don't have a Proton Pass account. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and sign up. So enter in the email and password and they will send you a verification code. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and check my email and paste in the verification code. All right, here we go. So they've also give you a recovery kit. It's going to be a very long password, a bunch of letters and words. So make sure you download it, keep it safe, do not lose it. So I'm going to go ahead and download it as well. And also I understand, click on continue. Now you can go ahead and click on get Proton Pass for Chrome and download the extension onto your Chrome browser, add it to your Chrome browser and we should be good to go. Now, I do use other password managers as well, like uh, LastPass. So I will be comparing it with it if I can. So I might compare it with it as well. So let's see. So we're done. So now we can create an account. Uh, we already have an account, I believe. So we just simply click on connect your Proton account since we already created it. Now we can just simply go ahead and sign in and we should be good to go. There you go. So we are good to go. And if we click over here, it's that simple. I'm going to select the dark one and it's that simple. Uh, pretty simple. Create a login over here. Create a hide my email alias, credit card, create an encrypted note, create an identity, import passwords, all of them. If you click on import passwords, you can go ahead and import it from others like LastPass. Uh, that's the one that I use, but it's pretty simple. I wouldn't need to export it, so we'll get to that in a sec. But yeah, I think we should be good to go. Let me go ahead and sign in into Proton and hopefully we should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you how it looks like. Password managers are pretty simple, nothing too crazy. They automatically detect uh, whether or not you're signing in or logging in or even signing up onto a website or software. And it'll automatically detect it and ask you whether you want to save the password or not. But yeah, this is how it looks like. This is the website. This is the application itself. Pretty simple, pretty clean looking website. And here you can see we have all of our categories. On the left hand side, we're going to have all of our items. These are some, you could say, folders. Uh, you can create different folders. In Proton or in any password manager, they're called vaults or anything else. Companies, different companies, different softwares will have different options. You can create different folders for different stuff. So, for example, you can create a folder for streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus, so that you know all the passwords for the streaming services are over there. The socials will have a different folder. You can say work related stuff will have different folder as well so you can create different categories and you can go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and create an entry so what i'll do is i'll temporarily turn this off and what i will do is uh, maybe i'll go into some other uh, website and create an account right and check it out so i'm going to go ahead and open up temp mail and let's go with monday.com let's go over to monday.com and create an account so here i'm going to go ahead and click on get started copy this mail, paste it, click on continue. It should automatically capture it. I'm just saying 
there we go. So you can see this is how it looks like. It'll automatically give you a option to fill the password. You can go ahead and click over here on this cob wheel and you can increase the characters and get a memorable password or a random password, right? You can have special characters, capital letters include everything. Now, one of the cool things is that you can even, you know, manage the length of the password. I recommend going with a 20 letter password since it's random. And once you select the password, it'll automatically give you this little pop up that you can go ahead and click on add password and it'll automatically save it. Right now, once it's saved, you can come back over here. You will find the password right here, the website. And here you can go ahead and edit it and you can go ahead and click on add it to some other, you know, form. I believe you can just simply move it by just simply, you know, dragging and dropping it. Currently, I accidentally deleted it. So I'll just simply go ahead and restore it. There you go. I'll create a new uh, folder or a vault. I'll just say work. And here I'll go with a good little purple color and give it a little uh, briefcase and click on create wallet or create vault. Here we go. So now we can go ahead and move this. So if I click over here, move to another vault, click on the work one and click on confirm. And there you go. This is how I can move passwords around. Now, what I want to do is I want to check whether or not I can actually go ahead and all right, I'm going to click over here and now I want to click on these three buttons and I can create a new login or update it. If I click on create new login, I don't think I have the option to actually add the to the folder. So I don't have the option to move it to a folder. So I suppose when you create the password, you'd have to come over here and manually sort them out, whether they're social or work related or just whatever. So keep that in mind. I wish they had given us that time, but they don't. But yeah, it's pretty simple to use. There are other options as well, but these this is generally it. This is how you can use Proton Pass. Now, as I said before, this is free, but there is a pricing plan. So let me just show you. If I click on this button over here on upgrade, we can see this is the pricing plan right here. So this is the free one. It'll give you 2.5 gigabytes plus 0.5 gigabytes plus 2 gigabytes for drive, unlimited logins and notes, unlimited devices two vaults vault sharing up to two people and you can hide my email aliases you've got pass plus for next level password management unlimited logins notes and credit cards unlimited devices unlimited hide my emails advanced aliases 50 vaults instead of i don't know how many instead of just maybe two vaults they yeah, like so vault sharing integrated two-factor authentication dark web and custom fields as well this is all for 299 it is a little bit expensive but you know uh, it is free, so keep that in mind. And then we have the Pass Family, which is going to be $4.99 per month, but in it you get six users instead of just one. So it's pretty cool and fairly reasonable. So I might actually switch over to Proton Pass instead of LastPass, even though LastPass is pretty good. Um, but yeah. So there you go. This is how you do it. This is how you use Proton Pass. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.